close it. There we go. Because I got to fit my plate on this bitch too. Because I'm eating food while I'm doing this. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sacklo. Hunter. Welcome back to another episode of The Teacher. So, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm recording this all on the same day. Not the full fucking 46. What I'm going to do is just four for now. Continue in this story. Oh, oh, there we go. I don't know why there was beep beep. I don't know why there was this. Actually, why do you need to wear headphones? Headphones. I don't get that. Oh yeah, yes. Damn it, no music. I'm gonna kill a hoe, I swear to God, all day today. Just everybody fucking fucking coming in on the goddamn recording day. God fucking slut, god bitch ass whore. Sorry, it's just, mm, it's fucking annoying. Okay. Wait, what? Live here? Uh, this, mm. Mm. <laughs> what a great idea! Wow, it's a really good idea. I think Kylie will really appreciate having someone here with her. I'm so happy that you like my idea. It means a lot to you. It's not easy living here. Not living here. Leaving her. Especially when she just turned 13. She's a teenager now. Like, God, she needs more than ever. She needs a woman. Help her understand that she's slowly turning into a woman herself. I can only imagine how much how must how you must feel, but uh, I will be here for her to help her. Um, the reason I'm laughing is because uh, I'm a I'm a dude. <laughs> I'm a dude, and I will guide her and support her most most importantly. I will be her friend. Oh, dear Lord, stop fucking sugarcoating this, you fucking kiss ass. I'm sorry, you can tell she's a kiss ass. You don't know how much this means to me, Bia. Thank you so much. Don't cry, Mrs. Collins. I will do my best. It means a lot to me, too. I may have a chance to pay for my college with this job. She pulled a silk handkerchief out of from her purse and dried her eyes. I don't see it. Where is it? Thank you, Bia. No, thank you, Mrs. Collins. You goddamn Hillary Clinton bitch. No. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay. So, how would everyday life be like here? What's the plan? You wake up, get yourself a candy ready for school. She doesn't suppose to fit herself. You might just want to help her get up on her time. You drive to school. After that, you go to school. She gets home at school by herself. When you get home, you can start dinner and help her with her homework. And make sure she goes to bed on time. And when she's out to bed, you have time for your homework, friends, or whatever you want. Yes, as long as you're home, Kylie needs you. You even get Sundays off. Wait, why only Sundays? Why wouldn't she get Saturday? Oh, I guess if she gets like Friday homework, help her with that shit. Okay. Saturday you get off at 7 p.m. So then you can get out at whatever you want. Jill! We'll be home on Saturday, Sunday all day and he'll help you with Kylie on school days too. But he has work late sometimes, that's why I need you. <clears throat> oh, it sounds like a plan, but I will need some time to run things over my dad. With my dad. Hmm. Can I call you tomorrow? Sure, of course, I'll be leaving in a week, so if you could call me tomorrow, then it would be great. There are a lot of things to plan for, at least, so of course, I would like to know if you're in as soon as possible. Oh, of course, I understand. I'll call you tomorrow, I promise. Thank you, Mia! No, again. Thank you for the offer. I need to go now. I have an essay due tonight. Tomorrow night. Bye. Then off you go, dear. Talk to you tomorrow, about bitch. You're a bitch. You're a bitch. What happened to us fucking? I don't know.
All right, meet him. Give me a sec. Dad! I'm home. Hi, Mimi! Yo, Daddy-o. Oh, so you are white. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know. Okay, shut up. The sparkly lamp ate a pillow and punched Larry with a striking force. Yes, great line. Here's my dad. He's a writer, currently working on a new book. His style of writing is, uh, well, uh, un peu bizarre, as the French would say. You know, weird. Hey, dad, how's the new book coming? Found a title for it yet? Hey, Mia Totila, no, any ideas? Oh, the pillow predators, Larry and the lampshades. Black Willow Pillow. Black Willow Pillow. It's, it's perfect. Thank you, Mimi Moo. Dad. He's a bit weird, I know, but at least he's funny. He did have a bestseller in his younger years, but haven't had one since. Poor guy, he deserves it. Oh, so that's why you got to like money. Shit, news is off. God damn it. I went over to Mrs. Collins at the school. She made me an offer. I couldn't refuse. Yes, an offer, yes. She said she would pay me triple the amount of money than what was advertised. If I would live with Kylie while she was gone. Live with her, yes, good idea. Wait, what? He dropped his notepad on the floor. Live with Kylie for a year, that's, that's crazy, Mia. I know, Dad, but all this money will pay for college. I know you stress, you're stressing over it. I, uh, I just need to finish this book. I, I know it will be a bestseller. Uh, look, I know it will too, but in case something happens, it's really good money, Dad. Uh, God damn it, it's what you want, Mimi. Moo, then I will miss you. Oh, Dad, you big softy. I will come and visit you every weekend. I might call you if I need some help on ideas for that book. Oh, I expect you to. I'm proud of you, Mia Totila. Okay, real quick. Why are you proud of her? She's just going to live where she works. <laughs> oh, Dad. Ah! My dad is my best friend. My mom died when I was five, so it... Oh, okay. This is getting sadder. Never mind. My bad. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry. I'm eating food. Bigger asshole, I'm eating food. Okay. My mom died when I was five, so... There's always been just two of us. We might become a bit sentimental throughout the years. I guess he thought that I needed a feminine sensitive and a mom-like side from him ever since she died. So, he developed it for me. He did his best to make sure I wouldn't miss her too much. Cool. I'm really glad this thing's, uh... God, I will miss this place and my daddy. Phone buzzing! Eating fucking food. Jake, oh no. Yo, hey babe, I miss you. Wanna hang out tomorrow night? Hey you, I miss you too. Sure, let's hang out. I'm heading to bed now. It's been a long day. Talk to you tomorrow? Sweet dreams, bit of a... A part of me still felt in love with Jake, but then a part of me also felt a bit unsure about us. The crazy amazing sparks are kind of... gone. There are no butterflies anymore. Oh dear lord, if it gives me a choice to like, uh, either stay with him or... Whoa! Holy shit! That's a bit much, don't you think? Holy shit! Let's go to bed. Do do do. No, I changed his voice. Fuck it. Hey, Mia. Hey. So I'll pick you up at seven. We can go see a movie. Sounds great, but I uh get to pick the movies this time. I know it's your turn. Nothing too girly, please. We'll see. Well, I'll see you in class, then, beautiful. See you in class. Oh dear lord, I fucking hate you. Hey, go hey! Hey, Kells, what's up? So, how'd it go yesterday? 
really well, actually. I got the job. Really? That's amazing, Mia! What was she upset about, then? You sound... You said she sounded upset. I told her about the offer that Mrs. Calden so gratefully made me. Whoa! Tell me you said yes! I did. Phew, thank God. You know, it's kind of the only way I can afford to go to college with you. I'm proud of you, Mia. Ah, oh, you. The best part is definitely that we're going together. I really appreciate you taking, uh, you know, a uh, sabbatical with me. Just so we can go together. You didn't have to do that. You have good grades and the money to go to get in this fall. You know I want to go with you. College is going to be the best years of our lives. Now, honestly, I don't mind doing absolutely nothing for a year. No, you just go work your butt off and earn that money so we can go next year and have a blast. I will. Yeah, cute boys, parties, and sororities. Here we come. In like 60 months. <laughs> oh, in the back, cool. Look, like, come on, no teacher would dress like this. Feels like I gotta give him. I think I gotta give him the voice. <laughs> well, well, well. Who should I put on the spot today? Oh no. Hmm, ah, oh, Mr. Holmes, is it? You seem awfully interested in this. Why don't you come up here for a second? Oh, fuck you! Uh, wait, so my name is Mia Rose? That's cool. Oh, uh, sure, Mr. Collins, Mr. Collins, oh shit. Okay, so, um, I'm Mrs. Weedle's substitute for today. She just called and sick this morning. So, Miss Rose, since Dr. Uh, Ben Rice could be, uh, could be here any minute to tell us about practicing safe sex. Okay, my heart skipped a beat as he looked at me. Somehow the only word I heard was sex. Okay. He was very captivating. Kelly was right. He couldn't be more than 25 years old. Why don't you tell us what sexology is, Miss Rose? Now should I give him a fixed voice? Why don't you tell us what sexology is, Miss Rose? Mm-hmm. No, that doesn't sound right. Oh, yeah, okay, well, uh, no, um, okay, look, this is what sex is. Um, you get a penis and a vagina. No, <laughs> Donald, Jesus. God fucking damn it. I'm such ashamed. Okay, sexology is the scientific study of human sexuality, including human sexual interest, behaviors, and function. Can I fucking put age restriction on my own video? I want to put some age restriction. Because, dear lord, this, it feels like this whole thing's like about sex. Sex, 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 sex. That's what I'm getting in this. Mm, very good, Miss Rose. I guess you did read your homework after all. Spawn with sass. Spawn with class. Spawn with sass, bitch! Of course, Mr. Collins. I just, because I yawned doesn't mean I partied all night. Might as well mean I stayed up all night to do my homework. Haha, <laughs> well, if that's the case, then I apologize. I forgive you. Wow. The classroom oohed as Mr. Collins and I shared a short but obvious moment of chemistry. An obvious moment of chemistry? What? That's just her saying shit. What the fuck? No chemistry. Okay. I looked nervously, nervously over to Kelly, who was looking playfully at us. I just blushed while he lifted an eyebrow to some of the boys in the class. We're putting us in an uncomfortable situation. However, the inappropriate picture that was painted in my mind wasn't unstoppable. Okay, yeah, this is way too sexual. I don't think we're gonna continue this. And only contributed to my flushed look. Well, you may return to your seat, Miss Rose. Ah, oh, thank you. I don't like you. Mm, yeah, look at that fat ass. Hey, don't look at my ass! Sorry. I couldn't get back to my seat fast enough. One moment more up there, and I'm sure, and I'm sure my legs would have collapsed under me. He shook his head, smiled, and ran a hand through his messy light brown hair. Oh, <laughs> oh, how I would love to know what he was thinking right there in that moment. Did I make a good impression? Did he also imagine us in an inappropriate? Oh my God! Why, 
Why is the thought for girls that have a hot ass like teacher in high school? My God. No fuck it. I get the same thing with like it's a boy that has a hot ass female teacher. They do the same thing. Jesus Mia, why do you even care? He's your teacher. Knocking on the door. Come in, Dr. Pivinis, or whatever his fucking name is. Hey! Welcome, class. This is Dr. Pivinis. 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 <laughs> Penis. What? Hey, we need is a sexologist. She is going to teach us about safe sex. Whenever you're ready, Doc. Yeah, I'm gonna put some, I'm gonna put some, uh, you know. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Callens. Fuck you. Why is Bad Boy's girl in here? What the fuck? No, 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 get the shit out of here. Why is he looking at you like that? Um, he's not. He's, uh. Wait. He's looking at you, Mia? He's probably just babbled about the fact that I actually knew the answer to that question. Or maybe I have something on my face. Please tell me I don't have something on my face, Kelly. Uh, if you don't, relax. Do you want to know what I think? Not really. I think he's got an eye for you. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh? Hey, you want to bang later? Oh, um, he's looking at me. And the way... I'm eating, shut up. Oh yeah, and the way he looked at me sent a shiver down my spine and felt my cheeks, oh no, turning bright red. His stare was so intense, so mysterious, but unfortunately not everlasting. He looked down to the book on his desk while holding a hand up to his chin. I felt kind of creepy as I couldn't take my eye off of him. Ooh, mm. I was studying him. Oh, hello. Mesmerizing his posture, the slight wave in his hair and his dimples. <gasps> he was visible even when he didn't smile. He was so beautiful. <gasps> this is getting disturbing. I don't like this. Yo, what the? The assassin. Hmm. Miss Monarch, I actually like your stuff. I like what you do. I like what you do and all that crap. Here's the only downside I have. What's with all the sex? <laughs> Follow on Instagram? Uh, you know what? I probably will. I probably will, but uh, I don't have Instagram on this thing. Uh, I have it on my phone. I probably will follow on Instagram, because no lie, you're actually pretty damn good at this storytelling. Uh, um, I, but now on these YouTube videos, it feels like I gotta put some safe sex, or like age restriction on it, because uh, a lot of it talks about sex, dear lord. So, <laughs> I'm just waiting for this thing to go to the fucking load up, but I guess I can just talk now. Um, dear Lord, uh, man, I hope you guys are enjoying this. I mean, I, I don't really enjoy this at all. I'm not liking it. Um, like, I'm not liking it because the way things are being played out so far to where it's like, oh, sex, 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 sex. I don't like it. Um, cause one moment it was like, oh, he was my first, first what, first kiss for some, I mean, I don't know what I'm thinking, cause it's like a new fucking story, and it's like a teenage thing, and it's about the teacher, it's gonna be all sexual, I mean, come on, who's not gonna think that, look at Scream, the TV show, what happened to that, student was fucking a teacher, so boom, that's what, that's the immediate thought that comes into shit, so, fuck it, I don't know, um, thank you guys for watching though, uh, like, subscribe, share this video with y'all guys, friends, you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next episode of The Teacher. Bye, guys!